Resolve 18.5 is out of beta. In this video, we're going to highlight 10 of our favorite new features. Some we've already made videos on, so look out for links throughout to learn more. We're saving the best, our favorite, until last. Let's get started. Number 10. We've got all the tiny improvements. A new button here, a tweaked button there. They may not be as flashy as a new effect, but they're just as important if they make your work quicker. Here's four examples. The Color Space Transform node now features a swap button. It's particularly useful when round tripping to a different color space. Set up your first transform node, copy it to the second, and hit swap. Tracks in the edit page can now be rearranged using the index. In the cut page, ripple edits can be disabled using this button, or by holding Option or Alt while trimming. The ability to perform J cuts and L cuts have been added to the cut page. Trim the bottom of the clip and your edit will only affect the connected audio. In the color page, missing LUTs are shown in the viewer or in their own dedicated folder in the LUT browser. Number nine, we have a new node in the Fusion page that makes creating motion graphics easier. In past, every element added to your composition needed its own merge node. Now, a single multi-merge node can replace several. Connected nodes are organized like layers. It's still possible though to control each merge individually. Number eight, remote monitoring. This allows you to stream your viewer to an iPhone, iPad, or desktop computer, and it works whether you're editing or color grading. Why is this significant? When sharing your screen through video conferencing services, playback is often choppy and colors are degraded. Remote monitoring allows you to send a feed that your client can rely on for making critical decisions. It's equally as useful when working solo. For example, if you're editing videos for a mobile platform, hook up your phone so you can demo your edit on a tiny screen. Number seven, on the Fairlight page, you can now group tracks together. Once grouped, controls like faders, mute, or solo buttons can be applied simultaneously. In past, you can control volume muting for multiple channels using buses, but groups offers an easier way of doing this and adds additional features like making edits that affect all the clips in a given group. We like using groups for things like adding all the sound effect tracks into a single group. Number six, Resolve has had automated project backups for a long time, but it now has timeline backups. In past, if I wanted to recover an older version of my edit, I need to go to the project manager, restore an old project, find the timeline I wanted, export it as a DRT, and then import it back into my current project. That's all sorted now. I never have to leave the project. Instead, just right-click on the timeline and go to Restore Timeline Backup. It's that simple. This is a very welcomed feature that has already helped me recover work. Halfway through our list already. Number five, Relight. Let's fix it in post is never an ideal approach to filmmaking especially as so many decisions made in production are baked into the image and almost impossible to undo in post. Lighting is one of those tricky things to fix, but the Relight tool has brought us a step closer. It's able to analyze the three-dimensional layout of your scene and then simulate realistic virtual lights. Now, similar to most color corrections, it's best used to enhance an image rather than completely change it. For a first-generation feature, it's amazing. Number four, automatic subtitling has been on many people's lists for a long time and it's finally here. Head to Timeline and hit Create Subtitles from Audio. It's that easy and it's amazingly accurate. Any errors can easily be corrected in the inspector. This is a huge time saver. We use this feature for all our tutorials. In fact, if you're watching with subtitles now, these were generated by Resolve. Number three, 18.5 added the ability to configure separate Resolve color management settings for individual timelines. You get all the same options you would get at the project level. Why is this significant? Many projects require an SDR and HDR deliverable. In past, you'd have to switch back and forth in the project settings. Now you can duplicate your timeline and change only its settings. Number two, our second most favorite feature is Export still frame. Now, this might sound like a funny feature to have so high up on our list, but we love it because we use it all the time. Beforehand, exporting stills was possible through the gallery on the color page, but required a lot of clicks and steps. 
Now it's very simple to do. Finally, here is our favorite feature introduced in 18.5, audio transcription. You guessed it. Dialogue is a huge part of an editor's work. It's easy to scrub through visuals at speed, but the only way to properly digest dialogue is to listen to it. Well, until now. If you've not tried audio transcription since the beta was first released, you'll want to try it again, because so much more has been added, such as additional languages, the ability to transcribe multiple clips simultaneously, silence detection, text editing, and more. Why is this our favorite new feature? Many new features improve your efficiency, but fundamentally, you're still editing the same way. Not only can audio transcription make your existing workflows more efficient, but it also opens up the possibilities to work in a completely new and different way. How so? There's different strategies that editors use to organize interviews, such as subclips and keywords, creating a selects breakdown on a timeline. Well, now there's a new way to edit interviews. Simply edit the text transcript and Resolve will do the video editing. That's our top 10. What would yours be? There's other features we haven't even mentioned, and the ones we have aren't necessarily the best, they're just the ones we've been using the most since release. So let us know what your favorite features are in the comments below. And remember, 18.5 is available for download right now. Check for updates in the app or head to Blackmagic's website. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe for more.